Hi, I'm Marika Hahn, and I'm an artist in residence at Mount Sinai Chelsea. I love my work. I love painting with the patients. I primarily teach watercolor painting, and I love making flowers. And today I'm going to teach you how to make a poppy flower. But this time it's not a painting. It's made out of coffee filters. Yep, cone filters, number four cone filters. So I'm going to show you how. Okay, so the first thing you need for a coffee filter flower, a poppy or any kind, are coffee filters. And these are number four cone filters. They're the perfect size for poppies. The way we start is we're going to color them. You're going to need three colors. You're going to need red, green, and black. And these are liquid watercolors. These are what I use for teaching painting. But you can also use food coloring that you can buy in uh, any store food store or even a dollar store sometimes. So let's start by how do you color it? I have these little plates around there from takeout or you can use any kind of plastic plate or disposable. I never dispose of anything. I wash them and use them for the next time. It just makes cleanup a lot simpler. So I'm using a brush and I'm going to stick a skewer in here. It's going to be easy for me to take it off and hang it up to dry. Give it a quick turn. Back side is usually almost done. Another second, we're done. I like to have a cup handy so that I can take the skewer and just stick it in a cup and it can dry. We're going to need three red ones for this project. We're going to need a green one. This is already painted and dried. And we're going to need a black one. And that's for these little eyelash fringes that we have around the center. First thing we do is we make a center. And to do that, I'm using a wire. And this is a wire that you use for making flowers. If you can't find it, it's fine. You just get a skewer in the supermarket or the dollar store and you just paint it green with the same green that you use for the filter. So if you have a wire, if you can get a wire, this one is uh, an 18 gauge. You can get an 18 gauge, a 20 or a 24. 18 is heavier than a, 18, than a 20 or a 24. You make a loop. I'm using white glue, and the best glue to use is tacky glue. I didn't have it at home, so I'm using Elber's glue all. Glue all. It is white, but it dries clear. The other thing we're going to need to color is string for the center. All of these lines, they are not done with a marker. They are done with string. I couldn't find black string, so I just got string, and I dipped it in the coloring, and now I have black <coughs> string. So let's get started. So I have my loop, and I need a ball to put on top of it. If I had a styrofoam ball, I could use that. I don't have a styrofoam ball. So I'm going to take my glue, and I'm going to put lots of glue on the inside. And then I'm going to start balling it up. This is going to be our center. I'm going to stick my little loop in there. I'm going to put glue in my loop. Put it in the paper. I'm going to start squeezing around the outside. My nice center. And put some more glue on the top. Okay. And I'm going to need to cover this because we need this to be a light green. So I'm going to take my light green filter. I'm going to just tear it in half. And I'm going to cut a circle. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. It just has to cover the little ball that I have made out of the paper. I'm going to put some more glue on it. Lots of glue for this project. I'm going to put the ball inside. I'm going to bring it around going to squeeze it so I have a ball at the top and then it thins out. Now you could use floral tape to secure this, but I find floral tape to be expensive, hard to work with, and I just don't have any. So I've taken the green filter and I've cut it into some strips, oh maybe half an inch or so wide. I'm going to put a little glue around this and that's going to kind of make the neck. It's going to secure this part under the top. 
and then we're going to move on to using the string, the black string, and that's going to make the nice pattern in the poppy. I'm going to put more glue at the top so that the string sticks to it. Clearly, I don't worry about using too much glue. Okay, so now I have my black string. Um, about 18 inches will do. If you run out of string, you can always use a second piece. I'm going to hold it at the base. I'm going to go over the top and I'm going to pull it tight so it's almost making an impression. I'm going to go around. I'm going to come back. I'm going to make a cross. The white will disappear. I'm going to cross it again. Again. They're always meeting in the center. I'm going to hold it in place and go around a few times. I'm going to take another strip of green. Put a little bit more glue on that piece. And that's going to cover the neck. Okay, I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to stick it in a cup to dry. I'm going to dry my hands. And I'm going to reach for the black. Now we're going to make the little fringy eyelash pieces that are fun to make. So I'm going to cut a piece, oh, about an inch, inch and a half. I'm going to cut off the very end of the filter that has these little crimp lines. I'm going to fold it in half, fold it in half again, or you can just do the whole thing, but it's, this is quicker. So now I just have one little piece to make fringes out of. You want your fringes to be about half inch, three quarters of an inch, but please be careful not to cut it all the way down because you'll cut it off. Also be careful of your fingers. When you're getting close to your fingers, just find another way of holding it. Okay, I'm going to open it and you can see this nice little fringe. It's almost like gigantic eyelashes. So I'm going to put, that's right, we're going to put more glue. I'm going to make it look like this. This one's already done. So we're going to make it look like that. I'm going to start it at the very bottom. of the ball, work my way around. And since I cut lots more fringes, I'm going to put those on too. This is really the biggest part of the job. Putting the petals on is really easy and it's really fast. Of course, I'm not taking the time to wash my hands. If, when you're home, you can wash your hands between steps so your fingers aren't all sticking together like mine are. Okay, I'm going to put this in a place to dry. And I'm going to take the fringe that is dry. It will be easier to do the petals. Okay, let's go to the petals. I've got three dyed filters. We're not going to use the crimp ends. What we're going to do is fold them in half up to the crimp. I'm going to use three petals, and you might not actually use three because you have two sides to the cone filter. So you may just use two petals, but it's always good to have extra. Okay. We're going to cut basically an oval. 
go up to the crimp, turn, and then taper down. Done. You have a wonderful texture with the poppy. So in order to get that texture, you can see all the lines in it. Just take the filter, almost accordion pleat it, really rough, forward and back, all across the wide parts. And then twist it, twist the whole thing. You're not going to have to watch me do this to each one because I already have ones ready to be glued. Unglue it, unfold it, there you go. You can add some little folds, play with the shape. You don't worry about doing too much to this because it likes to have lots of wrinkles and folds. It becomes more realistic looking. So I'm going to set these aside and use the ones that already have the folds in it. Take my center, which is looking good. And I'm going to put some glue in the base. I'll do two at a time. Do two opposite each other. So I'm going to put this around here. Start one side. Then the other one is going to go over here. Oh, it's starting to look like a flower. Pretty. You can always add a little glue to cure it. I think two more is going to be perfect. Put one over here. Pull it around. It's looking good. And one more. Oh, I got some black on there, but you'll never see that. When you do it, you'll be taking your time. I'm just trying to get this to the point that you can see how pretty it looks even in this quick video. Now at the bottom, we don't want to see this all crumbled up over here. So I'm going to take another strip of green, hold it down with a finger that doesn't have glue on it. Oh, my fingers are sticking. There we go, that's looking good. I'm gonna add one more, and then we'll be done. This is the last little piece. I hope you'll check back with me because I'm gonna learn how to do more coffee filter flowers, and every time I learn one, I would love to teach you how to do it too. So here is our beautiful poppy. I'm gonna open it up and play with the shape when my hands aren't quite as sticky. So thanks for watching. Have fun.